It is time to repent and be glad that the world lives under the umbrella of God's love, with his angels looking over us, he writes. Downing goes on to question whether the church has the eyes to see, to open the church doors to welcome our UFO strangers, or will we continue to be unaware what we have here now in the skies, they are part of the divine mission, he said in an interview. And although he's never seen a UFO, Downing believes in them. I believe by faith, in the same way I believe in the resurrection of Jesus by faith. I believe the reports, he said, except, I can question witnesses, which is even better than in the case of the resurrection. Could a UFO have caused the fire that never consumed the burning bush in front of Moses? Maybe, Downing thinks. What is not amazing to me is not that we had a burning bush, we had a talking bush. A voice came to Moses from the bush, he said. The book of Exodus contains lots of material for downing, including the cloud that moved with the Israelites. The cloud of fire moves, you know, it goes in front of them then it stops and moves some more. After they get to Mount Sinai and build the tabernacle, the house of worship for the Jewish people, it hovers over the tabernacle, he said.